Topic 7. Children's Play. What they learn and how they learn. With Helen Major. Part 1. Listen to me for the words. Particularly. Problem. Knowledge. Process. Youngster. Accidental. Experience. Opportunity. Experiment. Media. Explore. Orient. Potential. Expansion. Preschool. Dominant. Reaction. Proverb. Specific. Magnetic, overcome, contribute, material, introduce, rattle, creature, appreciate, kinship. Playmate, oblivious, routine, deviation, circumstance, discard, sensory, perception, confine, mold. Distinct Personality Preparation Technique Remove Reduce Apprehension Intensely Prop Costume Block, skyscraper, supervision, suggestion, offhand, observation, demand. H. W. Beecher said, You cannot teach a child to take care of himself unless you let him take care of himself. Some parents, particularly fathers, do not spend enough time with their children, while others, particularly mothers, try to teach them too much. Most of us are in the dark as to what is the right thing in this respect. Mrs. Major. You studied this problem in college and put your knowledge to work as you became a mother. I want to know what you consider to be the most important thing in the process of a child's learning. Children learn by playing. Play is the key to their growing up. The key to children's play is to provide what they need when they need it. For many youngsters, the filling of this need is accidental and they are likely to miss so much. For others, with a richer play experience, the opportunity exists to experiment with a wide range of media and activities. Why is play so important? Play is the way a child learns what no one can teach him. He explores and orients himself to the real world of time and space, of things, of animals, and most important, of people. We know that children's greatest potential for expansion exists during the preschool years, 
between the ages of two and five. After five years of age, he builds on this base. These early years give the dominant tone to his later experiences and reactions to the world around him. Uh, we have a proverb in Japan that goes, a three-year-old soul lasts until he's 100 years. Actually, it's the one-day-old soul that lasts until he is 100. To get back to play, some people have been so impressed by the importance of play that they want all their children's playthings to be educational. They seek to limit the toys and games to those that teach some specific skill. Aren't uh, educational toys good? Some of them are fine, but they are not the only kind a child needs. A parent may be delighted to see his three-year-old sit down with a magnetic board counting numbers, but in fact, that same child may learn more by sitting down in his backyard counting ants. I did just that. What does play teach the child? First of all, it teaches him about the world around him. How high is up, what is soft, what is wet, and so forth. Second, it teaches him about himself. He learns what he can do, where he is strong, and how to overcome failure and achieve success. How can a parent help him at this point? The most helpful way a parent can contribute to his child's play life is to provide the materials, space, and opportunities for the kind of play the child needs. This means planning and finding out about the abilities and interest levels of the child at various stages of development. I'm glad you referred to stages of development. Will you take those stages one at a time and explain? Also, will you define the age levels we're discussing? Yes. For our purpose, I shall limit our discussion to the preschool years, the age of expansion. You will begin at the very beginning? Yes. A very good place to begin. Play begins during the first year, and the first toys are usually the baby's fingers. Gradually, he begins to gain control of his fingers. Now is the time to introduce a rattle, brightly colored, and definitely a noisemaker. Does a uh, one-year-old notice other human beings? Oh, yes. A baby is a social creature, and his most exciting experiments come from the presence of other people. Playing hide-and-seek with Mommy, or being swung up in the air by Daddy, are important activities for a baby. I see one candle on a birthday cake. Yes, sooner than we can believe, the child's first birthday cake appears and our little friend begins his second year of life. He generally begins by walking and seemingly never stops. A child at this age enjoys soft toys to carry about with him. Pull toys are also appreciated especially if they make noise. A sandbox is wonderful for a child of two. Water play is also good, and we notice that he thoroughly enjoys bath time. He will also show interest in large picture books and is willing to sit and listen to stories. Does he seek friends to play with? He has not yet developed a kinship for playmates. Often, two children will be together in a sandbox, each completely occupied with his own activity and oblivious to the other child. The familiar patterns of daily life take on a new charm. Routines must be followed exactly, without deviations. If a new baby arrives at this time, new friends, wonderful imaginary friends, suddenly appear. Sometimes favorite stuffed animals take the place of their friends and cannot, under any circumstances, be discarded. This is also the age of important messes. Important messes? What are they? 
That's water play, involving water all over the child, the floor, and anything nearby. Playing house, washing handkerchiefs, blowing bubbles, making mud pies. All these are necessary. What does he learn through them? He learns sensory perceptions. Finger painting is a wonderful activity, and large papers should be provided so he can color them at will. Oh, a big mess. At age three, our little friend can hold a crayon, count, paint within the confines of a paper. Three has arrived. I'm interested in hearing you call a baby a little friend. Well, that's the way I feel we parents should feel about our babies. The baby is not something we play with, nor is he something we mold into what we want him to be. The baby is a person, a distinct personality, and only when we treat him as our friend can we get along with him. At this age. Play can effectively be used as a preparation for such things as visits to a doctor, a dentist, and so forth. This technique generally removes, or at least reduces, apprehension. You put your finger on a very important issue there. I know most youngsters dislike intensely going to a doctor or a dentist. The idea of making such visits pleasant occasions appeals to me very much. Three-year-olds can use any handy object as a prop for imaginary play. A costume box can be enjoyed by threes very much. Blocks are used in many creative ways at three. They make streets, trucks for trains, tunnels for trains or cars. They seem to enjoy breaking them too. That's what the blocks are for too. Half the fun of building a skyscraper is knocking it down. Isn't there any place in the child's world for us adults? Oh, there is. An adult is often needed, and he must learn to step carefully as he enters the child's world. Although a child of three plays better in a group than he did at two, he still needs supervision. But it should be an unobtrusive type of supervision. Suggestions and. Seemingly off-hand observations on the part of the adult will succeed better than demands. Idiomatic English. Please repeat after me if you like. Take care of. Who's taking care of your mother in the country? Will you take care of my baby tonight? In the dark, we are completely in the dark as to his intentions. Get back to. Let's get back to the beginning of the story. At a time. Don't talk all at once. Speak to me one at a time. Carry about with. Toshio always carries about with him a foreign magazine or two. Show interest in. Jane showed interest in romantic poetry. Be willing to. Are you willing to write a report on the sale? Who is willing to go to South Africa for me? Take on. Jenny's deep blue eyes suddenly took on a disarming charm. 